All right, so gut health influences so many aspects of our health. And in this day and age, with so many chronic health problems, our microbiome has become either a superhero or it's become the supervillain, depending on whether or not we've supported it. Now, a healthy gut microbiome influences things like allergies, chemical sensitivities, our immune function, inflammation, mental health, and really just about every aspect of human health that you can think of. And this is why focusing in on our gut health is really just so important when we have a chronic health problem or when we're just trying to be as healthy as we can be. Too many people think they have to have symptoms in the gut like constipation or bloating or diarrhea for there to be a problem in the gut. And this is not true. Over the last 10 or 15 years, I've come to realize that almost every health problem really requires a deeper understanding and an investigation into our gut health. Well, hey, if you're new here, I'm Dr. Hagmeyer, and in today's video, Supercharge Your Gut Health with Lactoferrin, I wanna share with you some of the latest research on the relationship between the gut and the immune system and some of the many benefits uh, behind this substance called lactoferrin. I'll talk about some of the main benefits of it. I'll share with you how to incorporate it into your daily life and your routine so that you too can experience just these remarkable benefits. Now, there's probably a pretty good chance that you've never heard of lactoferrin. So a good place for us to start, of course, is just going to be with defining what it is and really where we find it, right? So number one that is that lactoferrin is a sugar protein. It's called a glycoprotein. And it's found in milk, tears, it's found in the saliva of mammals. And it's really an important nutrient for the gut immune axis. So if you've been wondering about ways to supercharge your gut health, then you need to know more about this critical uh, nature's best kept secret. Okay. So let's jump into a few ways that lactoferrin can really help you supercharge your health. Number one is antimicrobial activity, right? Uh, this is really, really important in this day and age. Lactoferrin exhibits broad spectrum antimicrobial activity. That means it helps against bacteria. It helps against viruses. It helps against yeast and it helps against parasites. And it does this by binding to iron, which is a crucial nutrient for many pathogens. When lactoferrin binds to iron, it deprives these pathogens of iron, which is what they need in order to grow uh, and replicate and survive. So by directly inhibiting the growth of harmful microorganisms like Staph aureus and Listeria and H. pylori and pathogenic E. coli and rotavirus and respiratory syncytial virus, herpes virus, all these different kinds of viruses, Lactoferrin helps maintain a healthy balance of the beneficial bacteria in our gut. And ultimately that has far reaching consequences. Number two is its ability to modulate our gut microbiota. So what do I mean by that? Well, lactoferrin can positively influence the diversity or the composition of our gut microbiota. So it promotes growth of beneficial bacteria, things like lactobacillus, bifidobacterium, and like I mentioned a moment ago, it inhibits the growth of pathogenic bacteria, salmonella, clostridium, E. coli. But the benefits of lactoferrin don't stop with just inhibiting pathogenic disease-causing bacteria. Lactoferrin also has antiviral benefits, right? So it interferes with the way viruses attach to the cells, how they gain entry into the cell, and how they prevent replication once inside the cell. Lactoferrin is also an antifungal, right? So it can uh, be very effective in treating candida and other uh, different kinds of pathogenic yeast because it destabilizes their cell membranes. Parasites like toxoplasma are also inhibited by lactoferrin's ability to bind to surface proteins that can inhibit this cell invasion. It interferes with viral attachment and entry um, so that's very important. And, and lastly, the modulation of gut microbiota helps promote this healthy balance, improving that gut diversity and overall improving gut function. Number three about lactoferrin is its anti-inflammatory effects, right? We all know how dangerous chronic inflammation in the gut is, right? It's associated with so many different gastrointestinal problems like inflammatory bowel disease, uh, very often irritable bowel syndrome, a lactoferrin, again, here has been shown to have anti-inflammatory properties. And so it does this by inhibiting the production of what we call pro-inflammatory molecules like cytokines and chemokines. And so the benefit is that when you reduce this gut inflammation, it of course helps alleviate uh, the symptoms 
that are associated with this inflammatory gut condition that we so often see in celiac, in Crohn's, and in, in inflammatory bowel disorders. Number four is gut barrier protection. Now, I'm sure you've heard of a leaky gut, right? The gut really is just a critical defense mechanism that prevents harmful substances like bacteria and like toxins from crossing into the bloodstream. Now, when there's a disruption to the gut barrier, this can lead to increased permeability, right? This leaky gut syndrome, which is associated with autoimmune diseases and cancer, and again, inflammatory bowel disease and histamine intolerance, and so many other chronic health problems that we see in our practice. Lactoferrin has been shown to strengthen and protect the gut barrier. And what it does is it helps promote the uh, production of tight junction proteins that really help maintain the integrity of the gut barrier. And again, keep in mind that this gut barrier uh, protects and prevents the passage of harmful substances into your bloodstream. And so here, it can actually help reduce inflammation. Very, very important. And lastly, immune system support. Lactoferrin plays a vital role in regulating immune responses in the gut, right? It can stimulate the activity of immune cells, such as neutrophils and macrophages and natural killer cells. And again, this in turn helps us enhance our ability to fight against these pathogenic uh, disease-causing bacteria. It also helps the production of secretory IgA, which is an antibody that helps neutralize harmful substances in the gut and it supports, again, immune function. So by supporting immune responses, lactoferrin helps maintain a healthy gut immune system. Now, the other thing is gut healing and tissue repair. So in addition to antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory properties, lactoferrin also possess regenerative abilities. So in other words, it helps promote tissue healing in the gut. It can stimulate the growth and differentiation of uh, various intestinal epithelial cells, which are needed to maintain the integrity of the gut lining. It can promote uh, gut healing and tissue repair, uh, which again is just essential for gastrointestinal damage, you know, which might be caused by chronic stress or maybe because you took antibiotics or because you're on some other kind of medication that damages the gut barrier, right? Antioxidant activity, lactoferrin exhibits antioxidant properties. And so this helps neutralize uh, free radicals, which are very damaging to the tissues and organs of our body. Again, by scavenging these free radicals, lactoferrin protects our gut cells from oxidative damage, which again, oxidative stress causes inflammation, causes various gut disorders. And so again, it contributes to overall gut health by reducing oxidative stress. The last thing I wanna talk about is iron absorption, right? I mentioned that a moment ago, but a common problem for children and adults with inflammatory bowel diseases is iron deficiency, which ultimately leads to anemia. And so for many patients with inflammatory bowel disease, taking iron orally causes many different uncomfortable side effects, right? Uh, very often people who take iron experience constipation, they can have uh, nausea, they can have dizziness in some cases, Lactoferrin here has been shown to increase the amount of iron in your blood and it increases iron saturation levels and it increases your ferritin levels, which is your iron storage, it increases red blood cell counts. Again, all these things help with the symptoms of iron deficiency anemia, okay? So you might be thinking, well, who else might benefit from lactoferrin, right? Hopefully right now you can just see that there are so many beneficial uh, attributes to lactoferrin. Now, as a functional medicine clinician, I'll tell you that I've used lactoferrin uh, with patients for probably close to 20 years and with fantastic results. It's really one of my go-to nutrients because it's both gentle and powerful at the same time, which often is a rare combination, okay? So there's a few conditions or I would say situations in which I tend to use lactoferrin the most, all right? These are going to include really anything digestion-wise. So again, irritable bowel syndrome, uh, inflammatory bowel disease, GERD, acid reflux. I'll use it in patients with allergies and asthma. I'll use it in patients with autoimmune diseases or people that frequently get sick from colds and flus or other types of infections. Very good for skin infections, asthma, acne, psoriasis, and of course, iron deficiency in certain situations where uh, patients either have trouble taking iron, right, because it causes those symptoms. So if you're someone who suffers with the feelings of brain fog and fatigue and depression and anxiety. Again, these are all common symptoms when red blood cell counts are low. And again, uh, or if ferritin levels are low for that matter. But here's another great thing about lactoferrin. It's been shown to reduce interleukin-6, which 
when we talk about inflammation, all these benefits here, inflammation is a major, major problem and it helps reduce that. So again, some really important things about lactoferrin. So you might be wondering with all these benefits, uh, what is it that you can eat or what is it that you can do to increase your lactoferrin levels? Well, here's the deal. Lactoferrin is present in small amounts in dairy products like cheese and in yogurt. But the main place that you're going to see lactoferrin is colostrum. Now colostrum is that milk-like fluid that serves really as that first food for all mammals, including humans. And that said, if you want to get a meaningful therapeutic dose of lactoferrin, you'll need to either supplement or find a steady source of colostrum, which for most of us is not possible. So a couple things. In summary, lactoferrin plays a crucial role in promoting gut health through its antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antifungal. Uh, it, it protects our gut barrier. It helps with the absorption of iron. And so it does some really, really great things for us and something you might consider. Well, that's going to wrap up today's video. If you found today's video helpful, there's a few other videos that are worth checking out with information similar to this. I'll always leave some additional resources and links if you check out the description box. And if you have any questions about lactoferrin, drop them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer those questions for you. Until next time, I'm Dr. Hagmeyer. Take care.